Hey Taffers, welcome back to my Thief Gold playthrough that I originally started in my tips, tricks, and info video. If you haven't seen the rest of the series, I do recommend checking it out. Today we're going to be doing the Haunted Cathedral on Expert Difficulty. We have to find a way into the cathedral, steal the eye, get 2,000 gold, get the Serpentile Torque, and some, leave some coins in the Watchman's Grave. So this is not a traditional mansion robbing mission with guard, human guards, this is a undead mission. So the enemies in this mission consist of zombies, ghosts, and burks, which are those little dinosaurs that shoot out poisonous gas. So I'm not really going to be focused on stealth 100% in this mission, just because I find that stealth with the zombies and the ghosts and stuff like that is challenging and kind of unsatisfying, so we're kind of just going to be accomplishing the objectives any way we can. So let's get into it. First thing you saw me do there, I bought flash bombs and water arrows. Uh, water arrows with holy water can destroy zombies and they can also destroy ghosts and flash bombs are good against uh, zombies and ghosts. I find that they work really well with the ghosts. I think you need three flash bombs to kill a ghost and there's only three or four of them in this level and you also get some flash bombs too. So first thing you want to do is you want to unlock that door there and get these the supplies out of these two chests. It's really easy to miss if you don't turn around. Most of the loot in this mission that we need to get to the 2000 goal is just kind of scattered around. A lot of it is in the rafters, so make sure that you check um, check all the rafters. Most of them have at least a, a diamond or a goblet or something in it, a piece of loot to pick up. So there's a diamond right there at the beginning, I think that's 100, 100 gold right there. And there's a goblet up here, you can see me trying to jump for it. Goblets, I believe, are only worth 25 or 50, but you don't need to unlock that door. You can just run up here. There's a health potion right there on the very end of that rafter that's really easy to miss, and there's a goblet behind the pipe in the corner. And this kind of crab monstrosity is, uh, I think they're called Craymen. And they work a little bit more like traditional guards. They're usually not too smart, I find. They're pretty easy. Uh, one fully charged sword stab is enough to kill them, or you can knock them out with the blackjack. And there's a moss arrow there. Moss arrows aren't super useful in this mission, like I said, unless you do want to play through stealthy, but putting down moss arrows for burks I find is kind of pointless. that goblet there on the floor, easy to miss with that spoon and that bowl there, which are not loot. And there's three pieces of loot in this kind of cavern right here, uh, there's one in each corner. It's easier to come down here first into these tunnels, that way we don't have to come back here later um, just to get that those pieces of loot. So once we're down here we don't have to come back in and we can just stay above ground in the city and, and uh, pick up the loot from there. And there is birds in these tunnels so you're going to want to be careful. Um, it seems like they wander around a lot, so their position changes. It's not always, they're not always in the same spot. But there's, I think, three or four down here. And there's various, those uh, levers across the city that you can use to turn the lights back on, which I, I recommend. It's much easier to explore with the lights on than with the lights off. And there's a gold plate there, as you saw me pick up, and that one kind of opening with the light. It's easy to miss. You can see trying to shoot a rope arrow to get up on out of there. Birds are firing uh, poison gas. He did actually hit me so lost some health but still going. And 
Now this is another thing that's easy to miss. You want to climb up on this wall and jump across onto that roof and then up here and there'll be some fire arrows and some uh, lore text too. This is just telling you about where the, uh, the serpent, the serpent top torque is. Once you once you wound an enemy enough, whether they're a brick or a human or or what have you, um, they'll run away. So you know, you saw me hit that brick with a sword a couple times, and he ran away. So I'm just gonna let them run away because um, bricks and zombies will actually fight each other, and uh, bricks are gonna lose obviously because zombies can only be killed with like holy water or mines or the the poison gas won't do anything to them. So. Um, I'm okay with letting them run away because, you know, the zombies will hopefully take care of them for me. And there's a breath potion in here. It's not really, you don't need it to complete the mission. Um, there's like one part where you swim underwater and, you know, you get kind of close to losing all of your breath, but it's avoidable, so not needed, just kind of a little bonus, and I just wanted to show it just for posterity's sake. And down in here, there's a, a spider. Spiders actually, they do see, but they don't see out of their, their eyes, they actually see out of their, their butt, basically. So if the spider is like facing towards you, looking at you, he's actually looking away from you. So important to remember if you want to get a, a you want to sneak past the spider, or you want to go in for a, a try to one hit kill him. And there's a couple pieces of treasure down here. A couple bergs wandering off to where we climbed out of that hole earlier. Try to get they're all clumped together there. I tried to get them all with one fire arrow when I had a chance, but it didn't work. And this ladder this ladder is like the most difficult one in the mission for some reason. I'm trying to climb it, but it keeps like pushing me off. Flip the switch, turn the lights on. Just will not cooperate. You keep falling in. And finally, I'm up there I'm trying to s kill the spider. Spiders are kind of tricky. They have lower health than a lot of the other enemies, but they're very fast. They're one of the faster enemies in the game, so. They can, they can sneak up on you pretty quickly. In this area here, this grotto is where we, basically you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to go here first, but you can, because when you first do the mission, if you don't look up a walkthrough or watch a video like this, um, you won't know to come here, but when you go to the cathedral itself, um, the eye, the artifact that we're trying to get, will tell you that you need to come here. So we're saving time because we're already over here. We're going to activate this. So you need to stand on this key symbol and you need to shoot two fire arrows into those torches and then it'll open that door right there. Um, but yeah, basically you're not supposed to know about this until you go to the cathedral, but it just, it's just easier than backtracking all the way back here. Like this place was built by my own so this pals, kind of puzzle you have to put here. weight on both of these pedestals and you can use those pieces of the statue right there and if that's not enough you can go back and and get there's a boulder and a box I think not too far from here so but if you put all the statue pieces and then you stand on the other one you have a uh, enough time to open the door and then run for it you want to avoid the traps on the floor uh, right past that door that we just jumped over there's a, a piece on the floor that activates like a you know a wall that'll close in on you and on the way out there's you'll see that there's four pieces of floor that activate those arrows in the wall so there's a lot of traps in this room this building I should say 
and this right here is what we need. This is telling us about the um, the four talismans that you need to open the cathedral, and that's the locations there on that map. I mean, you don't can't really exactly see where they are. It's mostly just for story's sake and you know continuity's sake, but. Yep, see those on the floor right there? I gotta avoid. So that's the main that's the main objective actually. Um is to find to find the location. That's fulfills the cathedral requirement because well, spoilers, the cathedral's locked, so we can't get in because we need those talismans, which is gonna come up in the next couple of missions, so. I thought there might have been loot up here for some reason. It looks like there is like a way up here because there's that little, there's that board and then there's that little roof there. So I thought there was loot up here, but I didn't see anything. So I've done this mission quite a few times and I still haven't gotten all the loot. This is one of the, the harder missions in the game, I think, to get all the loot if you don't have a guide. There's loot in this chest. There's a diamond in this uh, destroyed tower right there. Really easy to miss because the diamonds are so small. We're on our way. This is the path. This is the pathway of the cathedral. There's a ghost right there. As I said before, um, I think ghosts are the hardest enemies in the mission because they. Um, they throw projectiles and they can't be killed, unlike Burricks or Haunts, uh, they can't be killed with a sword or an air a regular arrow, you need to either use uh, flash bombs or holy arrows as far as I know, so that and their deadly projectiles, they can shoot out projectile, it's like three skulls and it, um, it like moves in like a wave pattern, so and there's the cathedral right there in the Four spots for the talismans, the elemental talismans. I just wanted to show, I actually didn't, don't think I even had to come here, but I wanted to show it just to play in the Haunted Cathedral, so you gotta show the Haunted Cathedral, right? And there's the eye, and the eye is going to speak to us and tell us to seek out the Keeper Sanctuary, which is that room that we found the map in and the key. Now our only objectives is to make sure you get those fire arrows on the ground. I don't need them because I already got the already got the map and opened up the secret passage, but fire arrows are always useful for killing enemies, so but uh like I was saying, uh the only things we have left are to meet that two thousand goal. Uh we still have to get the torque and then we also have to leave the coins on the watchman's grave. Uh the watchman's grave is a uh, a harder objective that's that doesn't exist on normal. And there is a tiara or crown, I guess you ever want to whatever you want to say right there in that pile and kind of blends in because it's a brownish color the same as the the pile. I don't know what that is, I guess hay or straw, I'm not sure.
and this is where you have to go to leave the coins. So, kind of, you go down that main street, which the streets actually do have names, but I just think of it as the main street, because that's where most of the buildings are. But you go down the main street and then go up that up that uh, stairs and then jump across and lockpick that door and you're in this little, uh, you're in the little, little grave site. So, leave the coins, you just pull them up in your inventory and hit use on the bowl. And then I'm gonna avoid the spiders because there's two spiders in this room. I'm gonna fall down, take some damage, but not enough to kill me. But make sure you go back there and get those valuables in that chest there. Basically, most of the buildings on this little street here have something in them. In this part right here, there's a there's a crane man down here. And there's a key, and then there's, you can see in the water, there's a passageway you can swim through, um, just a bypass. You can bypass all of the zombies this way. And this is the part I was talking about earlier, the only part where you kind of need the breath potion, but you don't really need it. It's close, as long as you keep swimming, you can make it. So use it. <sighs> Since we have extra fire arrows, and figure we'll use them on the bark here. You only need if you if you hit those uh, torches right. You only need two. So. ghost right there. And there's a zombie, so I'm gonna be able to get both of these guys. Double up there on flash bombs. Another ladder that I'm having trouble with. And this you don't have to do, you can pick the door, but just be just be a cool guy. I'm gonna try to jump across here and And those uh Bases are worth bases, vases. I don't know. Those are worth a hundred. <laughs> Vase, I'm not sure. Vicey. Okay, I'll stop.
now basically all we have to do is just uh, find the torque because the torque I believe is worth 400 gold so that does count towards your loot gold so if you're close um, and you haven't gotten the torque the torque might put you over not really much to say in this mission in terms of strategy um, you know it's pretty straightforward in terms of you know kill the zombies or avoid them and just pick up loot no real uh, no real strategy in terms of you know patrol routes like with guards or things like that or AI it's kind of one of the reasons why I'm not as fond of these missions although I actually really do like this mission because I like the haunted city and the cathedral is really awesome but just the strategizing is, is much less I find with like the barracks and the undead enemies it's like kill them or avoid them pretty much start out with holy water you can buy some extra holy water but the mission also gives you some so if you if you play your cards right and you wait until you can get all the zombies close together or you know where they are then you don't really have to worry about buying the holy water at the beginning We're gonna open this door here because there's a diamond uh, on the shelf here, right there. So yeah, fun fact, you know, for anybody that hasn't played or isn't as familiar with the game, like arrows, everything has weight to it, like arrows have weight, so you can use them to uh, press buttons and stuff like that. So. It's not used too many times in, in, the, in Thief in terms of opportunities, but this mission has one, and I know um, the Thief 2 mission, Chipping and Receiving, has that as well. There's a part where you have to, the only way to activate a lift is to shoot an arrow at it, so kind of cool, but not used a lot in the series. This is where we have to go to get the torque. So, and this is something I just discovered relatively recently. If you move that welcome mat there, there's a key underneath for the house. So, pretty cool. I played this mission maybe four or five times before I found the key. So, pretty neat. Those are haunts. Um, I think we might have seen those in a previous mission. I can't remember. But basically, they behave like guards in terms of their AI and in terms of how they can be killed. They can be killed with a sword and they can be killed with, you know, traditional weapons like arrows, but they just have a lot of health. So they're kind of like zombie guards who are vulnerable to regular weapons, basically is how I would describe them. But they don't count towards, um, if there's a mission that has like a no kill, no kill only applies to humans and civilians. Um, I don't think it ever applies to Undead or or Crayman or any of the other kind of supernatural enemies. It's always just humans and civilians. You can see there's a haunt up there and I'm trying to get him to come down because I, I threw a mine in the corner there and I want to get him to run on it and activate it, but he doesn't, uh, he comes down but he doesn't activate it, so it's kind of a bummer. So he just ran right past it. And they're pretty fast. Um, they're maybe on par with, they're maybe slightly slower than like a spider in terms of their speed, but that's why I'm gonna retreat up here and then shoot arrows at him. And you can sneak past these guys, but because the house is so small, um, 
I just wanted to kill them just to avoid it. shoot a fire arrow to get my mind to activate there so I don't run over it and kill myself. That would be a really lame way to fail the mission. And those, there's two levers in the house, they just activate the lights, so if you do want to sneak through this without confronting the haunts, um, you can just hit those levers, it'll make it easier to sneak through. And there we go. That's gonna be it. That's the torque in that chest right there. I missed a little bit of loot, but we hit the goal. So as soon as you, um, as soon as you get all the objectives done, the mission's over. There's nowhere to you have to escape to. Unlike most of the missions on Expert, where you have to go back and you know find your way out of like Crags Cleft or something like that. So missed about 600. There's a lot. There's a lot of loot in this mission. Like I said, I don't think I've ever gotten every single piece just because it's. It's a pretty big mission and everything's pretty scattered so all right well that's it thank you so much for watching this video uh take care